So the myth that I want to address today is a pervasive one, which has come up again and again over the last few years. It's that modeling can't be trusted or that the models were always wrong. And I want to give you a particularly egregious example of this trope. So top of the list of spectators, 10 worst COVID data failures in the autumn of 2020 was overstating the number of people who were going to die. The article refers to Imperial College uh, modeling from the start of the pandemic that the UK was going to see 250,000 deaths in the absence of tighter measures and the fact that this never came to pass. What the authors of the Spectator article failed to mention is that, of course, highly publicised projections can become self-defeating prophecies. The imperial model is highly credited with causing people to change their behaviour and eventually ushering in the UK's first lockdown a week later. Given that the UK has already passed 225,000 deaths with COVID on the death certificate, it isn't hard to imagine that upwards of 250,000 could have died as a result of an unmitigated epidemic wave. But we should be clear that modelers didn't always get everything right during the acute phase of the pandemic. There were some highly publicised projections which never came to pass. So in July 2021, for example, just prior to Freedom Day, Sajid Javid warned that cases could soon rise above 100,000 a day. His figure was based on modelling from SPIM, which is the modelling subcommittee which feeds into SAGE. In the end, cases topped out at about 50,000 a day just before Freedom Day. There are a lot of assumptions which go into these complicated mathematical models. And if there isn't enough data to properly inform these assumptions, then the output of those mathematical models is going to be suspect. But a crucial point to think a lot of people miss is that every time someone interprets data, they're using a model, whether they acknowledge it or not. And the good thing about mathematical models and good modelers is that they're upfront about the assumptions that influence the outcomes. If you don't agree with the underlying assumptions, then you should feel free to take issue with the projections. But dismissing the conclusions just because they don't fit with your particular worldview isn't the right approach.